Okay, so it's been a while since we played any Plague Incorporated. Uh, I still play occasionally um, between streams and whatnot. Uh, I play just like a few rounds here and there, get a few achievements here and there. Um, they added some more official scenarios. Apparently, the next update is supposed to be something really big. Um, I don't know if they actually said what it was. I know there's a lot of speculation, um, mostly pointing towards the multiplayer mo mode. I can't even speak. But uh, until then, they came out with four new official scenarios. Um, three of which look pretty interesting. Uh, also, yeah, as I've been playing occasionally, I got the... Which one did I get? I got... Uh, I played uh, Global Warming and uh, beat that on Normal with three biohazards. Uh, I played Sovereign Default and Who, Who Cares more times over. Um, still haven't beat Necro on Mega Brutal because I'm awful, but... These three look pretty good. Artificial uh, organs. Obviously, it's just looks like a buff for humanity. Uh, but other than that, it plays the same way as the normal game. Uh, Frozen Virus. It's a new one. I assume like Black Death and uh, the Swine Flu and whatnot. Um, it'll probably be a unique uh, plague that we'll um, have to <laughs> nurture to slaughter all of humanity, I guess. Uh, the Nipah virus. This one was a... Yeah, it was taken from the movie Contagion. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I've watched... I remember watching Contagion, but it's been an, several years ago or whenever it came out, and I wasn't too happy. Or I wasn't that intrigued by the movie enough to... It wasn't that memorable. I, I can't think of words or anything like that. Hey, Prozac. Mm. Prozac, if, um, if you plan on being around long enough, I'm, it's going to be, we're going to play some Payday 2 before Memorial Weekend's out. So, you might want to stick around for that. The Unknown Origin one is the one that I'm most interested in. Everyone has a favorite country. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose it here. Are you feeling lucky? For some reason, this one sounds the most possible fun to me because it's random. There's no way to choose where you're going to get your virus started or your plague started. So it certainly looks fun. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about artificial organs. Also, when I loaded the game after this, they added a lot more achievements. Uh, I was just looking at them too. I've only got about... I've got 46% of the achievements, so 44 out of 96. There's a lot of them, and a lot of them are hard to get, and a lot of them would be practically impossible unless you knew exactly what the fuck you had to do. Um, yeah, I think these darker colored ones are for the uh, Necroa virus specifically, and then I don't think any other uh, of the other ones are shaded. Uh, let's see, lottery winner. And see, these are new ones to go with the new plagues and whatnot. So let's check it out. Uh, we'll go with uh, the frozen virus. Send humanity back to the Stone Age. Uh, Symptostasis, of course. Otherwise, we'll go with our usual picks. Um, we'll check it out on normal, I guess. And we'll just leave it at the default name. It's the pithovirus. We start off in Russia, apparently. Oil drilling in the Siberian permafrost releases you. Highly resistant to cold, you will struggle to infect warmer climates. So, starting off in Russia, we go. Um, infected our first human, we can use the cold temperatures. Right. Usual stuff. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll check it out, King. been a while since I played well I just don't play as much as what I used to because I'm waiting for them updates them kind of button presses yeah we start off with cold resistance level three we're a little amoeba <laughs> apparently our symptoms are drooling and mandibular strain 
Let's see, it's susceptible to viral infection and spreads through fresh water and salt water, increases infectivity. So apparently we're water strong. Drooling when sleeping or eating. So we cause people to drool and cause pain in mastication muscles. Periodical jaw clicking. <laughs> that sounds fun. We really don't have a whole lot to choose from to start off with. Well, let's start uh, getting gaining some DNA. I guess it's oh yeah, these both of these new plagues are viruses, so they will be mutating like mad, which I probably shouldn't have taken symptostasis since that will be the case. And I'll be putting more of my points into transmission and abilities. I can only assume anyhow. Um, I still kind of want to work on some of those, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with transmissions. I'm not sure exactly how unstable this thing is when you first start. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it will keep up at a certain pace at least. Do we see any special? No. We haven't seen any special abilities yet. sounded just a little too loud. Uh, yes, we've seen that special event. And I'm bleeding. <laughs> Doesn't even make much sense. I'm bleeding. I've got more DNA than what I know what to do with. I guess we'll start putting points in here. Uh, skists, skists, cysts and skin legions. Skin legions give uh, a crazy amount of infection rate. Abscesses. I wonder if that'll end up giving us necrosis down through that tree. Can't pick any, pick any more transmissions. We don't want genetic hardening or genetic shuffle. Wait, is that genetic shuffle? No, it's different. So it does have a special ability. I was just looking at the icon. Initial repair of level of low-level protein strains damaged during dormancy. Restore ancient symptoms and ability. Oh, well, shit. That's what I need. That's what we shall have. See, uh, that'll allow us to start building heat resistances. Dentulism. Severe gum infection causes teeth to fall out. Uh, I do kind of want abscesses. What's this stage? Amoeba 2. A virus manipulates it manipulates amoeba DNA, allowing host amoeba to thrive in warm body parts of animals. Increases infectivity. We're still in the colder countries, so that branches off into several animal trees. Let's see, DNA reshuffle to allow host amoeba to survive and spread in animal feces, increasing infectivity in rural and poor countries. Actually, pretty, be pretty good for Russia and a lot of the hotter countries. Looking at you, Russia. We did start off in Russia, so it might not be that big of a deal. What's here? Tumors. We don't want tumors. That's probably going to be it for the... For symptoms for some time. We might go ahead and get... All for Amoeba 3. It'll still raise our infection rate. But I didn't know if it... I don't know if I want to go into animal strains just yet either. Or animal trees. Let's work, we'll work on our abilities and unlocking more stuff. We also need to go ahead and start working on uh, heat resistance considering we're down, yeah, we're all the way down in Iran now. Russia's done, of course. And they've identified the virus. Resistance one. Looks like we gotta go up another level before we can see anything else. Let's see, repair. Stay in higher temperatures. <clears throat> Actually, indentialism does give quite a bit of infection. Raises severity probably a little too much though, so stay focusing on the abilities for now. 
uh, some Russia's researching. I mean, hell, we got a boat to Greenland already. Sweet. That's a lot of points. Let's unlock another level. Uh, 21 points for heat resistance one. This is obviously not the most efficient way to play the pithovirus. I should have taken pathostasis for uh, ability points because it looks like I'm going to be spending quite a bit in the ability trees. Heat resistance 2. Let's see. Strange symptoms, ability to resist advanced immune responses. I wonder if one will unlock uh, air transmissions. We got tumors for free. Spreading into an animal tree. Uh, I want to go ahead and figure out what's all the way up this tree. see what we can unlock with the pitho virus. Apparently somebody's died in Korea from it. That was probably from the tumors. Yeah, tumors actually give us our first little bit of lethal symptom. Start killing people. What's this last one? Okay, that allows us to unlock heat resistance 3, full DNA repair, entire genetic code from the Neanderthal era. We can reshape humor temperament. I have a feeling that there's something down these two trees. Carnivorous denticu den denticulation. What? Trigger grow <laughs> trigger growth of carnivorous feet <laughs> teeth. Carnivorous feet. What the fuck am I going on about? Let's see. So that make people eat raw meat, poor dental hygiene, increased infection rate, bone display dysplasia. Relentless bone growth with high mineral density results in severe musk muscle <laughs> the fuck. Game, I don't know where you're going with this. Muscle I don't know if you pronounce the C. If it's like pronounced like muscles. Or musculo skeletal. I don't know. Cranial elephantitis. Now that you can actually use with the Necroa virus to uh, give zombies thicker skulls. Yeah, that's all they need is a symptom for uh, elephantitis of the scrotum. It's probably the special ability of the virus. I'd assume where those two trees come together. I want to see what it is. Neanderthal regression. DNA recombination destroys logical and emotional brain function, leading to complete regression to Neanderthal state. Huh. Been sent it back in time. No, I... I, I can't read. At all. Unfortunately. Yes, that does jack up the severity quite a bit. I think even more so than what insanity would. It's kind of funny though. <laughs> I mean, turn the humans back into Neanderthals. Uh, I guess we'll try it out. I'm probably going to lose this anyways because most places are closing their borders and that seems like something you would want to yeah, that does seem like something you would want to use at the very end anyhow. Simply because, well, changing everybody back in the Anathal Mons. Though, ironically, the only place we're not going to get is New Zealand. Which I usually don't have too much of a problem with. 
Look at Greenland real fast. Though, spreading through Russia and whatnot is pretty easy. Hey, memory loss. What was that? Oh, that was the second one up. Big historical recollections. Uh, let's see. Immaturity. Aphasia. Make secure development order. Aggression. No, oh, damn it. I got the end of fall regression on accident. I was going to go ahead and get aggression. Uh, it doesn't matter either way. So I wonder. Going symptom heavy and having everybody, uh, Canada's been bombed. That killed a lot of people. But yeah, I wonder if letting the virus mutate on its own will, uh, I wonder if it'll focus on, well, it did just get memory loss, so I know it will go down this special ability tree. Though, I'm sure these two branches are mostly just to kill people with. Systemic infection, malignant ascites, fluid and abdominal cavity, cirrhosis can be lethal. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I can only assume that left hand tree is for. No oh, thanks, game. Jaundice. Gonna give people the yellow eye. I just bought anemia for some reason. Hepatic failure, chronic replacement of normal liver cells with scar tissues cause <clears throat> liver to fail, resulting in rapid death. So yeah, that's basically just a kill tree. So I'm assuming what we want to aim for is turning everybody into ne Neanderthal then. Stan is bombing itself. Pakistan. We're not going to win anyhow. So let's try this again. I'm going to do it right this time. Back to frozen virus. Uh, yeah, we're going to aim to mutating this thing. Almost, I'm thinking about taking transtasis. Pathostasis would be good. Because I do need a lot of abilities, but if I take uh, trans stasis and uh, getting all the animal trees finished, then maybe I won't have to worry about symptoms at all. It'll probably just do what a virus does and go crazy. Uh, yes, I am king. I have it. And depending on what happens, I might end up streaming it too. Because I've been very excited about that for quite a while. And it's almost, what, two days left? One day, 20 hours. Oh, yes. Okay, so we started off with a couple of symptoms. <clears throat> let them run their course. We're going to need to unlock the first section of DNA repair and we can get Amoeba 2. Hey, Beetle. Now we have all the animal trees unlocked. Um, it's only 11 points for Amoeba 3, so we'll go for that next. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Russia's pretty rural, rural uh, livestock. We'll start off with that. Uh, probably livestock and birds. Once we get down to the hotter countries, the insects will come in handy. So we don't need them at the moment. 
Let's get some boids. <laughs> Jack up the insanity with the infection rate. Too bad we don't have insanity. We can't get insanity. Well, I guess insanity is kind of a joke compared to regressing the Homo sapiens into Neanderthals. Neanderthal, however you're supposed to fucking pronounce it. Now we'll go rodents. Still spreading pretty fast for being in Turkey, but I guess Turkey isn't hotter. Whatever, so no big deal. Though they're searching for the cure first. Here to here first. Uh, rodents. And now we'll finally get insects. Hell, we might even go ahead and get water. Water transmission. Might be a little bit more useful. John, this is a. What the fuck ever? We're down in Australia, mate. Everybody is gonna die, mate. How are you today, mate? Uh, the water, too. We've managed to jack up the infection rate pretty fast, pretty early on. We'll unlock more DNA repairs, then we'll start getting heat resistances because those countries will start slowing us down now. We got cysts for free. We still got a lot of countries to go through. Uh, yes, give us drugs. Does it really seem like the virus is all that unstable, though? We've only mutated... Oh, okay. I take that back. Never mind. It's starting to catch up. I'm not worried, since it's on Dorm, I'm not really worried about genetic hardening just yet. Let's get heat resistance level 2. Uh, unlock the next level. And the next. And Mexico has <laughs> the research team that is going to supposedly stay, save the world. You guys are probably fucked. Though it looks like all of our mutations are mostly focused in... Uh, oh no, we never did get memory loss. I was going to say in killing people instead of turning them or regressing the species. Uh, that's quite a few points. 39... What's this? Ice resistance. Pathogen able to survive and spread in crystalline seawater when ice melts. Detected by sea and harder to detect. Well, that's cool. That's an ability that actually raises the infection rate. Sure that we turn them into Neanderthals, though. Especially considering they're going down the kill tree. It's definitely apparent that the top tree is much cheaper than the bottom one. So let's see if we can regress regress the species before we kill them all. Hell, we got bone, uh, bone dysplasia for <clears throat> for free. Elephantitis of the nuts is coming up next. Uh, oh yeah, we need the uh, full DNA repair before we can regress. The first death has been reported. Oh no. And we've infected nearly every country. Or everywhere but Morocco. There's been a lot of games I've played where Morocco comes in last, but it's always like... Why even worry? 43 points. Everybody in Canada is flipping the fuck out. They don't want it. They don't want to has it, but they're going to has it. You got aphasia for free. The 
progression for free, so we're gonna fully unlock the Neanderthal uh, tree. Hopefully. Malignant douchebags or something. Oh, wait, there we go. Well, it's about to change. Uh, we've infected everybody. But we're going to kill them, I think. Well. Oh, you can't even uh, devolve any of those. You can uh, this left hand tree, but not the right one. Whoops, I accidentally tried to click when that came up, but either way, it brought us to this screen. Screen, what the fuck? We unlocked a couple of achievements, and we devolved the human species. Of course, we were playing on normal, so getting a high... Uh, the, the, the big man pants score wasn't a big deal. Uh, the Nipah virus. I assume that's how it would be pronounced. I'll leave this one on trans stasis as well. Oh, you can use cheats on this one. So that's where the cheats come up at. They redid the cheat system. You can use multiple ones on uh, any virus now. Or virus, any plague now. Which we might also check out. Um... Because before you could only play one cheat at a time on bacterial only. And there's a few things I wanted to test. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. We'll play Nipa on normal. A disease found in bats that is deadly to humans. You're an endemic. Indian fruit bat colony is chance, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I can't read. It's. It's too early in the fucking morning for me. Sure, that's my excuse for not being able to read. <laughs> Let's see. A new strain in the Nipah virus that spreads harmlessly through bats with the potential to spread to humans. We can get hindrance traits. Pathogen develops traits of an equine. Hindra virus increasing selection of host animals. So... I think that'll unlock maybe more trees over here. Maybe. Uh, either way, let's go up the bat tree. We took transstasis again, I believe, so we'll be focusing on those. What's. Oh, we don't have any symptoms at all, which is probably going to be useful since we can be pretty silent about uh, killing people. They probably infect the world. Unless the mutations start getting out of hand. I'll probably just let the muta mutations run their course considering uh, the transmission's mostly going to be uh, animal based. Get drowsiness, photophobia, and headache. I think headache's the only new one, new symptom I notice in here. Thus far, anyways. Respiratory shift, uh, gain ability to cause severe pathological conditions in the lungs. Let's see, gain ability to cause severe neurological symptoms. <clears throat> so I guess taking bat two gave us all that, supposedly. Wait, what? That was weird. The game was still playing while I was in the uh, menu. It's not doing it now. That was weird. I was I was watching my DNA and I see myself getting points. Unless there's some way you can make it do that, and I don't know. Did I press a button? Possibly. <clears throat> so, bat level four, we can have bats killing people. Yay! And we're gonna make them tired too, apparently. And 
then the bats are going to kill them. <laughs> We're going to make people drowsy so the bats can, you know, kill them. Uh, let's see. Let's go down the swine tree. Because I want to hold off on bats until a little later. Like when they spot the virus. Let's see. Spread suit pork. I'm going to need to get another, uh, the next ability to continue on with transmissions after I get the uh, next animal transmission. Dysphagia for free. Still really haven't done a whole lot. 16 points. Well, if this thing spreads to Pakistan, the fucking, <laughs> the whole eating pork thing is, is it going to help me at all there? Let's see, got a headache for free. We get swine level three. And then the hinder traits next. Well, yeah, hinder traits, because that'll unlock more transmissions for us. Australia, Egypt, photophobia for Freemans, what's this, cedar traits, pathogen develops traits of benign cedar virus, survive away from a host but more likely to be cured, fuck you game, it's not fun, let's see, horses, Rural and arid locations. Likely mutations. Oh, apparently we can get dogs. Dogs, even. And they've discovered us in India. The Nipa Mans are coming after your ass. Or so I've heard. Let's go ahead and get dogs and uh, horses. So, Nausea for free. And we'll go ahead and finish off with Batman's, maybe. Uh, we might unlock the cedar trait first, just to see what it's going to give us. Fomites. So we've seen these before. We shall has them. We shall has all of them. vision. <laughs> that one's new as well. Lack of sharpness of vision results in the, in the inability to see in fine detail. Confusion, hallucinations, suspend... I don't even know how to say that. Shortness of breath creates difficulty breathing, especially in arid locations. Occasionally fell, uh, fatal with extreme uh, exercise. Sure, game. Whatever. I guess we'll go ahead and finish off bats, and then we'll continue up the fomite tree. The environment, air, water. We'll keep going with fomites until we finish them. Then we'll go for the uh, air and water transmissions. People are starting to trip the dicks off. Two, and then we just have water two to worry about. Take that, Madagascar. Punk bitches. Ah, extreme bioaerosol, I assume. Of course, of course, my favorite. So, transmissions appear to be out of the way. We need to unlock those other uh, abilities. Spirit your neurological symptoms. Assume that'll be more stuff in the uh, middle of the symptoms tree. So we gotta make sure we unlock both of these. Uh, symptoms in the lungs. Yeah, both those sides must be either sides that, of this tree that connect to the middle. I can only assume, anyways. Oh, I almost missed points from New Zealand. Let's connect that tree. <clears throat> 
let the symptoms run amok on their own. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let's start building up some resistances. We got sneezing for free. Our infection rate is through the roof. Everybody's looking for a cure, and we're gonna get fucked by by goddamn Cuba and Iceland. You bastards. I'll make for free. We might get lucky and get safe. Uh, no. There is no birds a tree for us to explore shit I don't know if bats can get you the random event of infecting other countries I can only assume no well with the rest of our points we may as well start killing people Let's see infections no with older patients. I'm not kill I'm worried about killing old elderly. I want to kill everybody. Let's get coma and cephalitis. That's very deadly. It looks like those two trees might be split up diagonally. be more focused in uh, throwing their research off. Fuck you, Iceland. I called them Greenland earlier, didn't I? My points really don't matter. Three hundred thousand people are gonna stop us. <laughs> Too. Meningitis and seizures. Oh, hey, meningitis. I've had that before. That's fine. Thank you again, Iceland. I like how they have win-lose screens now, too. I thought it might have been unique to that last virus, but I th I can only assume that they have it for everything now. And the defeat screen! Yay, I've seen that many times. <laughs> 